there is an advanced restart button in this ROM hence use the manually you need to boot in recovery first turn off the device okay once it's turned off use the power button and volume up button to boot into recovery once the poco logo appears you can remove the finger and power button and continuously press the volume up button we'll get one more haptic feedback then it will be booted into this latest twrp recovery for poco x go to wipe section and select here advanced wipe and select dalvik catch and data and swipe here to wipe it later go to home and select install and select the micro sd card and wherever you downloaded the zip files select that before that first flash the firmware here latest available firmware is 12.5.50 surya global i am for flashing this firmware later go to again install and select the rom zip file here in this video i am going to showcase you the pixel air os surya 12.0 you can read here with february security patch and its latest available build for this poco x3 it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom wait until it gets flashed as you can see rom zip file has been flashed successfully now go to home again and select here wipe and select format data and type here y e s and press this tick button done go to reboot and select system this is the flashing method in all the videos i will be explaining out the flashing method and all the benchmark results bgma gameplay everything will be explained in any particular rom you can check out all my videos and i'll be giving the links of this new twrp recovery and also some of the firmwares in my community section you can check out in my channel and it's booted into pixel air os it takes a little bit of time to boot for first time wait until it gets booted and let's begin this video <laughs> Hey hi hello welcome back to my new video guys this is Sampath you are watching Sampath Sanfx POCO X3 custom ROM reviews and this is POCO X3 as you can see with Pixel Air OS and Air version is Oxygen and Android version is 12 here and it comes with 5th February 2022 security patch and the build date is 27th I mean 2nd February 2022 to 27th build and kernel user is 4.14.198 aragon surya kernel has been used and i have been running the cpu throttling test from last five minutes you can check out here the maximum is 156 and average is 147 and minimum is 89 and throttle to 85 percent of its maximum performance this is how the cpu throttling and it's similar to pixel experience and one bug or one limitation i can show you right now is into the battery and there is an option to showcase the battery percentage in the quick settings i'm in the status bar as you can see there is no option to set that i hope in the next build they add it and it's an initial build they specified and coming to dialer here you get let me increase the volume and you will get direct video call feature is available in this rom and there is no call recording option in this rom this is the dialer and coming to widgets you will get the latest widgets i mean the android 12 widgets you can choose different type of widgets and also you can drag from here and you can adjust them you can change later also this is the widgets and everything and coming to wallpapers and style you will get the and at all wallpapers pre-installed in this rom no need to worry regarding that and coming into quick settings panel this how the quick settings panel you get if you want you can add some of the options i already added plenty of that there is nothing great here this how the rom build this is the first build i guess initial build they have mentioned but it's nice but the benchmark results and actual performance i will be explaining it very soon and coming to app settings you get here default apps you can choose 
different type of apps from here and make it as a default from here game settings has been given you can enable this screen time you can use japan special app access you get plenty of options you can adjust from here that's available in this settings in the notifications you get app notification notification history conversation bubbles device and app notification notification and lock screen sensitive notifications and do not disturb wireless emergency alert and plenty of options you can enhance the notifications also you can enable or disable from here into the battery setting there is no option to see the battery percentage forget about the style you can't even set the battery percentage i don't know why they skipped that but anyhow this is how i want to mention it out i have mentioned and battery usage it will not record for first boot i don't know why it will not record but during the flashing you can see it was 98 percent now it's 88 percent it took 10 percent i have set up all the files and downloaded apps and installed and run the benchmark is fine the battery life is initial impression is fine not great but definitely it's fine coming into display you get adaptive brightness lock screen settings you get print of options here also screen time mode and dark theme is given but it's not an pitch black condition it's gray type as you can see and there is no option to choose any presets also you can schedule it out but i don't like it it's fine enough font size you can adjust no fonts are given and display size also you can adjust from here smallest width is also given in this room coming to night light fit feature it's given you can adjust the intensity also you can schedule it out in this particular room and there is a minimum refresh rate and maximum refresh rate. there is no preferred refresh rate but refresh rate per app you can select but as you can see again let me go into display if i select that it will boot out of that it's still in first build maybe because of that it's not working here but anyhow these all the features and lcd features are also given and tap to wake premises accidental wake up is also working fine icon shape you can change here plenty are given i can pack also plenty are given in this rom coming into accessibility menu it's also working fine as you can see it's an handy feature to have in and at all you can directly use the volume up and down button without using the volume button you can adjust from here even the brightness and accessibility settings you can directly go into there and you can take the screenshot and you can move to recent apps from here it's a handy feature you can definitely try it out switch access timing control system controls and vibration and haptic feeder ring vibration notification vibration touch feedback is included in this rom coming into security feature you just get a fingerprint unlock where the pixel experience official is getting face unlock now this is just stuck with fingerprint unlock but it's fast enough you can see here i hope in the upcoming builds they also add face unlock and app lock let's see what happens and this are the settings and privacy settings and location settings all are working fine no problem regarding that as you can see microphone access and camera access it will be identified whenever the app is using particular access you will be get notified and coming into gestures you get simple options just you get haptic feedback and full screen gestures and left and right swipe sorry edge sensitivity is given swipe to invoke the assistant that's all nothing new you can go to two button navigation or three button navigation if you want double tap to check phone is given and three fingers screenshot is also working fine this all the settings you get and coming to benchmark results first i will show you the android benchmark results it's fine enough as you can see 292 not the great i have seen but it's okay it should be around 360 but anyhow it's okay 0 0.4 degree celsius battery has been sorry temperature has been raised and one percentage battery has been dropped during this testing of android benchmark results coming to geekbench scores here it's also not that great i will show you very very low scores you get here 3 366 and double one double seven and the kernel as used here is linux 4.1 4.198 argon surya has been used the kernel it's in latest build but missing and you'll get this kind of camera application snap cam i have installed the arno build gcam which is working fine even video ultra wide angle all are working fine in this camera application if you want you can use any other gcam ports you can comment down below which is the your preferred gcam in custom roms in this poco x you can comment down below 
and coming to DRM status here also you get level 1 certification no need to worry regarding about that you can watch all the OTT applications in HD resolution that's not a problem and Google Photos unlimited storage is available that's fine and coming to safety net status I haven't installed let's install that by the way you can check out the speeds also it's quick enough it's get passed fortunately it's really good to have passed safety net status you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay whatever you need to use you can use it out and whatsapp is also working fine no problem regarding that and uh, let's see the bgma gameplay how it will handle the bgma gameplay actual performance will be noticed here let's see coming to bgma you get normal smooth plus ultra settings as you can see in the graphics as you can see and hd plus high not more than that and let's see the gameplay and i will increase the volume here it's fine It's playable but uh, and definitely it would have been in 60fps it would be even better. You can enable it out 60fps it's not a problem. This is the BGMA gameplay. I hope you seen the live FPS count also. This is the Pixel experience. Sorry, Pixel Air OS with oxygen level and with first build. This is the Android 12 version Pixel Air OS for Poco X. Let's see the RAM management. It's still in the memory. Pretty good RAM management here also. And that's all, guys. In this video, if you like the video, give it a like. And if you're still not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button down below and also all the bell notification by pressing the bell icon thank you for watching we'll meet you with another interesting video until that keep smelling bye bye for now